Hello, welcome back. This is Breakfast with Charlie State and Louise Minchin. Time now is exactly 7.30. Our main story is this morning. There are calls for voter registration for the EU referendum to be extended after the official website suffered serious technical problems in the run-up to last night's deadline. Yes, many would-be voters were unable to log on after 10 o'clock last night, immediately after the end of that latest TV debate. The government blamed it on unprecedented... Well, just before that uh, website crashed, David Cameron and Nigel Farage were forced to defend some of their core policies on the EU when they were subjected to tough questioning from a television audience. A conservative... For anything? What? <laughs> oh, yes. Well, <laughs> thankfully he ducked. Yeah. Yes. But not quite as bad as... Oh, uh, my. It wasn't the best thing to do. Your job didn't last long, today. No, six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Good way. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Let's see, the time now is 7.41. Now, we've all heard the saying, love is the best medicine, but it could actually be true. A new study suggests married people are 14% less likely to die after a heart attack than single people. Searchers, I'm assuming that group of people, well, they're just disappearing from shot now. Are, are they the spring watch people? Are they, are they getting ready to do things? Yes, they are. They're... It's like a lovely day for it as well. We'll see you a little bit later. Thank you. I don't know why I said yes. lovely. There. It's not really lovely, is it? It's just, it's just a bit of television. I was thinking... Oh, it's just a bit of television. No, but it's I mean, very it's not, we're not seeing birds or wildlife. No, you're right. That, that would be lovely. <laughs> Mind you, though, Cow said earlier, there, there are lots of uh, foxes, apparently, running around earlier on. Steph, we just <laughs> Should we just let him dig you out? Let him dig you out? out? US President Barack Obama has congratulated Hillary Clinton for clinching the Democratic presidential nomination after winning primary election in four states. Her rival, Bernie Sanders, our correspondent James Cook, is in Los Angeles, and you were there when he was making that speech. It's interesting, isn't it? Because Hillary Clinton's claiming victory. He says the fight still goes on. Which is it? The Independent Police Complaints Commission has criticised police officers in Sussex for using handcuffs, leg restraints and a spit hood on a child with a severe neurological disability. A few minutes actually will be joined up by a civil liberties solicitor who represents the child involved in this case. And we're talking about some of the details. Severe weather and storms have caused problems all across the UK. A 37-year-old man and his two... And it was a really magical night for hundreds of theatre-goers who gave a standing ovation to the first public performance of Harry Potter and the Cursed in its past age. You're watching Breakfast. Let's take you back to one of the things we've been talking about in our news bulletin today. Um, officers at Sussex Police have been investigated over the way that they dealt with an 11-year-old schoolgirl who has a severe neurological disability. Yes, the Independent Police Complaints Commission looked into the way officers restrained the girl while held in police custody for more than this morning. Uh, and uh, just to let you know, Sussex Police uh, said in a statement, all of its officers have been given new training to help them deal with people with mental illness and have been reminded about the way spit hoods, we were talking about those a moment ago, uh, should be used. It is 18 minutes past eight. A little bit later here at breakfast, we're going to be talking about work dress codes, actually, because JP Morgan seem to be changing the way they're letting people dress. So is casual OK? Well, that's a question for everybody to answer, isn't it? We've got some few examples coming up later. I'm just looking over my shoulder to see how Carol is. Car mm. Carol's a sort of Fairly quite cash casually today, dressed I'd say. today. <laughs> yes, <laughs> appropriate in, in the circumstances, way. though, Carol. Not a criticism. A bad thing, probably, from your point of view, weren't they? Why? What's wrong with my feet? No, no, you said you don't like... I didn't say you said you don't like... <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. Anyway, so Steph is going to be helping with us us with that a little yeah. bit later. And let us We're not going to wear flip-flops. What, what you're wearing... No, no flip-flops. That's the rule. Uh, let us know what you're wearing. If you're wearing something unusual to work today, what might that be? <laughs> <laughs> Tell A us what you think suit. as well. Lots of no, people don't. say you have to dress the part to look the part to feel the part. See what I mean? Yes. But anyway, uh, thanks for getting in touch. Uh, time now to get the news, the travel and the weather wherever you're watching us. We'll see you in a few minutes. Hello, welcome back. This is Breakfast with Charlie State and Louise Minchin. Time is just coming up to 8.30. Let's have a look through our main stories this morning. There are calls for voter registration for the EU referendum to be extended after the official website suffered what's called serious technical problems in the run-up to last night's deadline. Many would-be voters were unable to log on after 10 o'clock last night, immediately after the end of the latest TV debate. Severe weather and storms have caused problems across the UK. A 37-year-old man and his two children are in a critical condition after they were struck by lightning. That was in Lisbon. It's very exciting. We... I know that lots of people will be turning up. Are we, are we going to be there for breakfast at all? I'm not personally, okay, I don't know, right. but I do love a triathlon. Yes. I'm probably not on your level, Louise. Because well, have you been in Team GB? 
And well, no, no. <laughs> on, I did, done. though, enjoy a cup of tea during my swimming leg, which I'm quite proud to a admit. A cup of tea? I hadn't really trained for the swimming. It was a mile, it was 1,500 metres, and it was mostly up the Thames against the tide for 1,000 metres, and so I was a bit tired. So on the way back, I had to go onto my back to do a big backstroke, and I went past a boat. And Is there also a can be, I can arrange some cake. Believe me, the triathletes are very good at eating cake. Are they? Yeah. There'll be lots. Um, but anyway, not lots on the bike, not when you're running. Swimming, no. maybe. So. Uh, <laughs> There will be lots of coverage uh, from Leeds over the weekend they as well. Will. It'll be a fantastic yeah. spectacle to watch that. Be Great brilliant. warm up for the Olympics. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. Uh, as a former political advisor turned comedian, Matt Ford has been watching the build up to the EU referendum closely. He's preparing for his very own Brexit debate with Labour MP Anna Johnson, Remain campaigner and Conservative politician Liam Fox from Vote Leave. And Matt joins us here on the sofa. You, Matt, could you just explain something, first of all? We said yeah. about your, your political advisor links before. Yeah, yeah. We're all in... Vote, they should be allowed to. And if it's a question of just moving it by a day, then that's a price worth paying, I think. Oh, we still don't know the answer, though, Matt. Thank you very much. Thank indeed. you very much. Thank you. Uh, Matt's show, uh, Political Party EU referendum special with Anna Johnson and Liam Fox, is on later this month in Leicester Square Theatre. So we've been out and about with Carol this morning. She's in Suffolk for us. It's been looking very beautiful there, Carol. Apart, we're told, apparently, from the midges. Are they still there? Morning. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. If you haven't gone to work yet this morning, if you are going, how smartly are you going to dress? One major bank in the United States is relaxing its dress code to replace shirts and ties with polo shirts and casual trousers. Will other businesses follow suit? Breakfast, Jim McGovern has been finding out. 